Right, so Bavel. So this way shit's gonna go down. Down in Chinatown. Hopefully. I got a sore throat. Do I sound all gravelly? I had a lot of running to do. I should have used a fucking little boat thing, but to be honest with you, I don't even know if that's even quicker because the animation time and whatever bullshit around that takes fucking forever. I can't believe they're just making me fucking run. Why can't there be a little chump skip? So stupid. And the fact that I'm just allowed to just run in. Let's have a little lucky over here. Well, this looks like something. Oh shit! How in? So you jump on there. Okay. Must be a room on the other side. Yes, there is. Right, so we're probably doubling up. Doubling up? Those double Ds. There we are. Oh, oh, oh. What am I doing here? Oh, look at these. Drive settings changed. Central lift destination altered. Ah. I take the hologram on the ground. So there's two. We do do them both. I see. Right. So the act is one. So one brings it down, the other brings it up. Right, so we went up. That's not where we needed to go. So obviously we need to go downtown. Downtown. Jeez, things really are a mess, huh? Yeah. I don't know some of my people just let us get away with this. Just like this guy's walking around and they're just like. I wonder what they're up to. They're standing on stones, they're changing the direction of the elevator. Oh my god, it's a shit place. <clears throat> Wait, what are fiends doing in the temple? The temples reek of secrets. Don't let a couple of fiends throw you. So they're here froze off. Can I not go rap? I can't get round that. There's a chest on the other side. Okay then. Holy shit, the fucking trigger. That's like fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, mate. When were they made it in the Dungeons and Dice Monsters, whatever the fuck it was called? That shit was fucking horrendous. That's when Yu-Gi-Oh went fucking downhill. It basically went downhill the flame after all. the um, Pegasus arc. That was like... Jesus Christ, this shit's strong as well. Gotta like, just conserve. Man, yeah, that Pegasus arc was fucking OP. I'm a flaming swordsman. I'm Joey from Chicago. I don't even know what happened then. I assume I'm gonna like trigger more shit, but there's items over here, so. Oh my god. Even the fiends are like fucking Yu Gi Oh characters. What even happened in that Pegasus app? He fights the bug guy. I remember that. Yeah, he fights the bug guy. I think that's like the first guy he fights. There's that weird thing where Joey goes in that cave and ends up fighting the zombie guy. 
Then there's the weird, <laughs> it's all fucking weird. Uh, then there's the thing where Joy fights whatever she's called, the woman. <clears throat> and she like has perfumed the cards and pretends that she's like clairvoyant. I got to hey, fight. I want to fight too. Um. They have like Tristan and is it Mia or Amy? And they're like fucking useless people. Like I don't even know why they're there. They're just like there for moral support. Cause they're fucking shit. And then you add the fight where they fight the two monk guys. Get Guardian! Ata! The weird, weird, they had a fucking weird maze going on. I don't understand the rules of like Yu-Gi-Oh in those like situations where suddenly they can like decide, oh, we're gonna have a maze for this, and it's just like, is that in the rules? Is that how this game works. And I forgot how how did they get to Pegasus again? Are they like collecting points and knocking people out or something, or they try to collect something off the opponent? I can't remember. I can't remember how it works. They're just like randomly on an island and just start fighting each other and suddenly they find random duel zones. It made no sense. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Fuck's sake. I had a fucking amazing theme song. Cannot lie. Do 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 do. Your move, your move, your move. Yu Gi Oh. That's what I had a uh, keeper and his weird brother, Kabuto. The Kabuto, and he like. I don't know why I'm running around. I'm just like running around finding the chests. Uh, yeah, and there's that thing where keeper like threatens to like. Essentially, kill himself if Yugo beats him. He stands on the edge. And the other thing that I know about the show, though, is that the cards, when you actually bought them in real life, didn't even have the abilities that uh, some of those fucking cards had. Like, the. Um, what the fuck's going on here? This one was like waiting for me. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. What was the big fluffy thing? What was the fluffy ball thing called? And it like, you could like duplicate it, but when, like, if you duplicate it in the game, it like duplicates it once. As opposed to like, in the show, there's like a million of them. And he's like beating fucking like Blue Eyes White Dragon with it, like what the fuck's that bullshit? And you had some legendary, like, shitty basic cards, like, the Elf Warrior, whatever the fuck it was called. Or the Imp. And they always give the Imp the horn. So it increases, like, attack damage by 300. And it was always, like, animated it onto the heads, <laughs> so... Oh my god. I can't believe we're talking about fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. And I'm just going off on one. But Yu-Gi-Oh was fucking legit, I'm not even gonna lie. Remember the Jinns? Like, different types of Jinns. And they're, like, eight. Probably nine even. It's probably more than that. I just remember like being those different gins. They were quite powerful. And they introduced those fucking arm things. Look at what's gone it. Yeah, and they introduced those like arm weapon, arm like disc things. You could buy them from the shop, but they're like just it's basically just fucking plastic. And didn't hold your fucking cards. Tip it a bit and it all fucking fell out. Not that I owned one, I know people who did. Oh, fucking elevators of doom. We're just fucking running around like fucking assholes, aren't we, really? What's the point of this here? Nothing, apparently. What do these do? Can I interact with these? No. That should just be where you put the spheres. Okay, so that guy. I assume there's a boss battle or something coming up because why the hell would there be a guy here? He's obviously going to sell me items. Let's have a look. Yeah. So obviously he's going to sell me shit. He just sells. He literally just sells crap. Like. No, I didn't want to fucking talk to you. Go away. I want to save. 
Right, so obviously we save on the lowest one. Let's head through. Let's see what's going on through here. This is where we got the A on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, team. Huh. Holy shit, what a fucking dive that was. Left the timer perfectly. Huh. I thought it was like the laser shields and Phantom Menace. We just started diving and dying. Let's go, team. Ah! Lasers! Laser wall! Oh, oh, can I talk to these? It's just like Nuji said him said, look things, there must be something incredible down there. Towers? I can't remember. What do we do at this point? I think I have to activate them. Watch the exit. I don't take orders. But she's gonna watch the exit. Because she doesn't wanna be down there. But I'll make an exception this time. Leave it to us, love. Because they're not exactly shit out of the little blank syndicate. They're actually quite powerful. What the fuck's this? Flash the long silence block, man disable the security system to proceed. Use the free control towers of blue lights to disable the security system. But be careful, the towers of red lights are set to defense mode. So the defense was fucking me, he's fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyone that's to access the Sanctum without problem clearance will be eliminated regardless of the circumstances. That's just gonna repeat the shit to me. I don't know why we have to interact with that for it to fucking tell me. I assume we have to go over here then. Like, how the fuck do I get down? I can't jump. Apparently they do just jump, but I have to fucking jump from that side. Oh my word. Hey! Wait! It's us! The Gullwings! I don't think they give a shit. I don't think they care. Exactly, I don't think they do care. Because why would they? How strong are these things? Is it worth like, like Fundagering them or something? It doesn't appear they're that strong. Fucking hate that when they do that shit. Yeah, they're quite weak. And all I think we need to re our fucking Fee Farm. She's a bit shit. Diamond grids. No. Equip. Feels like no damage. Should we make her a warrior as well? Oh, can we? Dude, that's a fucking defensive one there. Jesus. Oh, what have we got? Thief first? Yeah, let's fuck it. She can just stay a warrior for now. Wait, I didn't even activate this tower. What do I do? Do I just go inside? Activate them, summons combat things. Just more damage than fucking warrior. What is the point of Thief then, other than that she can like rob and do certain skills? Like, it just seems a bit shit when she does like no damage. Hmm. 
We sort of want to unlock a new sphere though. Uh, garment, sorry. So we're not doubling up on warriors. Maybe like, I don't know, like a ninja or a samurai or something like one of them. So something like that would be pretty cool. So you're one of three. I think. I think you missed the first one. I think you missed that one. The second one, sorry. It's like an order. Right, another combat. Same fucking thing. Riku basically has like what looks to be Tidus' sword, like a, a version of it. What don't you know warrior have it? Brotherhood is it called? Dude, I'll learn focus. Like, what are you gonna do by now? Dude, just fucking one bomb, you know. I bet she gets hit now. Finish him! The lemon attack! 566 damage? Thank fucking god, right? We need to heal up. Why did this one take so, like, so much time? Oh, we leveled up. I did that one. Oh, man. Where am I at? I think you skip the next one as well. I think you do it. I think that's what you do. So far it's working, so... Why would we change? Right, healed. Uh, MP mana. Do we have an Eva? So we skip that one and go to the next one. I think we should have it. 